Welcome back to my SQL tutorial. In the previous uh, tutorial, I actually show you guys how to install my SQL. So what I will do now is to click on this uh, local instant, and right here, I will now enter my password, and then we create a table. All right, my SQL workbench is ready. So we now create a schema. A schema is also known as a database. So we can always click on this uh, create new schema in the connected server, or we can just enter the details right here. But let's go through here. We can just click on this drum looking objects, click on that. And right there, I'm going to now let's enter student details there. So once you enter your schema's name or your database name, click on this button right there. Click on apply there. And this dialog box pops up apply SQL script to database okay you see this very one you can even copy that if you want to create another schema but you don't need to okay now let's click on apply there and that is it click on finish and right there that is my schema or my database ready so you can then click on this arrow Okay, you can see it is now it now has a drop down menu. In there we have a table, view, stored procedure, and functions. So what we're going to be doing now is right click on this very table and select create table. That is it right there. Now let's give our table a name. So I'm gonna just call that student info so student information service i will leave the rest as default and so that you guys can see let's just cl click on this click to change the number of display there okay once you click change the number of display you can then enter whatever value or whatever details you want on the column okay make sure you click it that's it right there okay right here and now we're going to enter the first information i will enter in there will be my let's go for student underscore id for the student id that's going to be my primary key you can see it right there pk and that's the meaning of pk the primary key primary key is like a unique identifier and you see the other thing that automatically get checked is the not known that means primary key must be entered okay then if you want you can always enter default expression right there so that's the primary key the next one is let's enter first name for your first name I'm gonna make that I'm just going to check that to make sure you must enter your first name there okay and the data type if you notice the data type for the primary key that happens to be integer okay and data type here is var char which means character which can be numbers and so on okay so i'm going to use the same data type for the next one the next one is going to be surname and for the surname i'm going to make sure you must enter a value in there and you see that's the same data type now let's go for address let's go for address right there that's the address and we have the fourth value if you notice the fourth value for this uh, other ones is 45 so i think i'm going to have to change this one to about 
let's go for maybe 150 characters that's for the address and here let's enter maybe telephone okay so let's make room for that so for the telephone okay let's go for about maybe actually approximately 15 characters for the telephone all right so let's the next thing is maybe date of birth i'm just gonna call that the dob that's the date of birth now let's change this we're gonna change this to date and time okay that's the data type for that now what about gender gender okay we leave gender there so maybe we go for let's go for six characters maximum and here what else do we want let's say course course underscore id course id okay for the course id maybe 12 characters and let's say year so we just need to gather more information about this very student I'm going to go for integer for that all right so that is all there is to it so all I just need to do now is I click on apply or if you guys want you can enter more information there about the each about each record that you've entered in here you can always enter comment here okay yeah you can enter whatever you want to know about the student there okay maybe you can say let's say first year second year or you can even go for third year there okay let's click on apply there and that is the SQL details of what I've just created there okay you can see that you can just copy all of these and put them in your own in any database and it will generate a table for you as you can see create a table so the, um, the student ID you must enter a value first name surname address telephone number date of birth gender course ID year and so on okay just click on apply and there and click on finish okay if you come in here now those are all the information in here if you click on column that's it right there okay and if you want to have a look at your table that's your table there the student info and that is it right there click on that and that is your table here okay you can always then enter the student id say so this that's the student id there Okay, let's say it's one two three four and student name we can go for Paul Roman address let's say 10 London okay telephone number and date of birth Let's say 14, 12, 90, 99, or 193, whatever. Okay, gender, you can enter mail there. And course ID, I say the course ID is 0987. And year, maybe year one. There. That's the record for this very guy here. And the next guy, let's say his number is that. And 
the name happens to be let's go for um, let's say Steve and Steve's name is Steve Moore and address is let's say Daytown Road and telephone number when they took bed okay and course ID into the course ID there let's say you are on the same course oh no that's gender gender is male and course ID you guys are on the same course year year one okay okay guys those are all the information for some students in there you can always yes uh, and extend that so that you see all of the information you have in there so with that guys I'm gonna call it the end of this brief tutorial I suppose you all enjoy it so you all have a nice day and I'll be right back with more my SQL tutorial so you all have a nice day now bye for now